Hi everyone, welcome back to CodeMade Mastery. In today's video, we are going to study CPT Integum Entry System Adjacent Tissue Transfer Guidelines with example. Adjacent Tissue Transfer ADT is an important topic for the CPC exam. So let's study the guidelines with example. Before that, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's start with what is adjacent tissue transfer? Adjacent tissue transfer, also known as rearrangement, it is a surgical technique where local sections of healthy skin and underlying tissues are moved to cover a nearby defect or wound. This method is used to repair traumatic wounds, injuries or defects left after removing a lesion or mass. Some common techniques of ATT include W-plasty, where additional incisions in the shape of the letter W is made to reduce tension on wound edges. Next is Z-plasty, incisions creating a set shape to create flaps that are sutured together. Next is V2Y-plasty, incisions are made in a V-shape to create a flap that is advanced to repair the defect. Rotation flap, a flap created next to the defect and rotated over it to repair random eyeline flap it is a flap which is completely surrounded flap with its own blood supply now let's see why adjacent tissue transfer is performed it is performed for better cosmetic results maintain blood supply preserved sensation reduced infection risk functional restoration and it is also used for reconstructive surgeries after trauma cancer excision or other medical conditions that leave a significant tissue defects. You can pause the video and take notes. Now let us move on to the important aspect that is guidelines for coding adjacent tissue transfer. The codes for adjacent tissue transfer are 140002 let us look at the codes. The code 1400 is for adjacent tissue transfer or rearrangement defect 10 square centimeter or less and 14001 is for defect 10.1 square centimeter to 30 square centimeter. Next code 14020 is for ATT scalp arms or legs defect is 10 square centimeter or less and 14021 is for defect 10.1 to 30 square centimeter next code is 14040 it is for ATT or rearrangement the anatomical locations are forehead cheeks chin mouth neck axillae genitalia hands or feet defect is 10 square centimeter or less and for the defect 10.1 to 30 square centimeter we'll use the code 14041 Next code is 14060 for ATT or rearrangement. Anatomical locations, eyelid, nose, ears or lips. Defect 10 square centimeter or less. And 14061 is for defect 10.1 to 30 square centimeter. Next code 14301 is for ATT or rearrangement. Any area, defect 30.1 to 60 square centimeter and add on code 14302 is for each additional 30 square centimeter or a part thereof we have to use 14302 in conjunction with 14301 so these are the codes for ATT now let us look at the guidelines the first guideline is coding by area and size ATT procedures are coded based on the anatomical site as we already saw, there were different codes for different anatomical site. So we have to choose the code based on the anatomical site. And we have to choose the code based on the combined area that is in square centimeter of the defect to be repaired. That is primary defect and the defect created by the tissue transfer which is secondary defect. So we have to combine the primary defect and secondary defect defect in square centimeters next guideline coat each side separately if there are different anatomical sites given we have to code it separately third guideline excision of lesions benign or malignant should not be coded with att codes okay because att includes lesion excision whether it is benign or malignant we should not code 
benign or malignant lesion excision along with ATT. This guideline is also given in your CPT manual under adjacent tissue transfer. Page number 98, you can highlight it. Fourth guideline, if a repair is performed in addition to ATT, they should be reported separately. Fifth guideline, undermining alone of adjacent tissue transfer to achieve closure without additional incision does not constitute ATT. So what does this mean? Undermining refers to freeing the skin from underlying tissues to allow for tension-free closure. So this does not count as adjacent tissue transfer. Adjacent tissue transfer specifically involves additional incision to create flaps or move tissue into the defective area whereas undermining alone is a simple technique used to help close wounds. In undermining there is no need for flap creation but in ATT there is flap creation. Therefore undermining of adjacent tissue to achieve closure is not ATT. So these are the important guidelines for adjacent tissue transfer. Let us look at an example. An 82 year old female currently has basal cell carcinoma on her anterior left shoulder. The physician excised the lesion with an excised diameter of 5 cm and hemostasis was achieved using the Bouvet cautery. Then a 10 cm rhomboid flap was made and was rotated into the defect and donor site. So we have to choose the appropriate CPT codes. Look at the options A, B, C and D. In option A and C, they have given 11606. If you have practiced much, I can say that you are familiar with this code 11606. It is for lesion excision. 11606 is for excision of malignant lesion. In the question also, they have mentioned excision of the basal cell carcinoma. Basal cell carcinoma is a malignant lesion. When you read the question further, you can find they have mentioned 10 cm rhomboid flap was made and was rotated into the defect and donor site. So, this is an adjacent tissue transfer procedure. Remember, if they have mentioned flap, then it is adjacent tissue transfer procedure. And according to the guidelines, along with adjacent tissue transfer, we should not code lesion excision. Therefore, directly eliminate option A and C. So this is the reason why knowing guidelines is very important to eliminate the wrong options. Now we are left with option B and option D. Check the code 14020 and 14021. 14020 is for adjacent tissue transfer or rearrangement, scalp, arms or legs defect 10 square centimeter or less and 14021 is for defect 10.1 square centimeter to 30 square centimeter. So which among these two is the right code? In the question they have mentioned the physician excised the lesion with an excised diameter of 5 centimeter. By this we understand that the excision size that is 5 cm is important for understanding the procedure. Therefore, the combined area we use for coding is size of the flap that is 10 cm and also the excision size 5 cm as the flap covers the excision site and creates the final defect. Therefore, we have to focus on size of the flap used for ATT which is 10 cm and also 5 cm excision size. Therefore, the correct CPT code will be 14021 that is for defect 10.1 to 30 square centimeter. The code 14021 is correct because this code encompasses the entire procedure including the excision of the lesion and the creation and rotation of the rhomboid flap to cover the defect.